Have you guys seen the ending? I'm sure you guys have seen the ending. You've seen that short-haired, bob-haired, you know, MILF that's looking at this collar and just looking at it. Like, who's this dog collar for? Clearly us, because as soon as she showed up and everyone's saying, this is Tenka, she just immediately presses on her boy, bro. Oh, is she gonna be one of those MILF types that I absolutely adore? No more lollies, give me the MILFs. Talking about other girls too, there's an entirely different faction of, like, humans? Humanoid that's been kind of blended with the Mato, right? That's kind of what we're long list long lost sister is, right? There's like three different people there. They all have like unique designs and I think their combat like their their suits I don't know who designed their skin tight latex suits, but their outfits go way harder than our outfits But I think uh, Tenka showed up and there's another girl that showed up who seemed to have like similar bluish hair like the twin tail And she was looking at Himari and Himari looked pretty pressed. So I'm gonna guess sister. Let's begin today's reaction Whirlwind Himari Roar your little slave. We we are a slave, right? I thought she was a supreme commander, but she's not. Okay. 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 Who, who was the second in command? Himari. Or, oh, is Himari a second in command? I did not know. Okay, so Kyoka's like number one, Himari number two. Okay. And then Shushu Nene? Ooh. Azuma family. She has a deranged look. So for some reason, the smile and the twin tail is reminding him a little bit of Kurumi Tokisaki. Maybe people are gonna hate me for comparing this girl to her, but I mean, look at the smile, dude. I kind of like her already. Damn. Are we fucking exiled? Like, we're the uh, weakest sister in the family there? A lot of exposition dialogue happening, but the cameraman is focusing on the leg scene. Now, I know the subtitles are in the way, so let me get rid of the subtitles for a second, guys. Just for you guys. Look at this shit. Look at this camera pan, okay? You don't need to listen to the Japanese. None of you guys are actually fucking reading the dialogue. I know you're not. Just look at the legs. See, cooperating with other squadrons is great because that is, this implies collaboration with more girls, right? That's a great thing. Dude, she has such a twisted look in her face. I love her. Everyone knows who you're referring to. Everyone knows. Just tell her, tell her name. Yo, Himari kind of looks cold there too. You know, I always wondered, what, what is that thing? Like, like what is this? What, what is this? Earpiece? Fashion? Is it just part of her? What, what the fuck are those things? Sometimes I just want to like grab it. Exhibition match versus the other squads. Ooh. He might have then fight her sister. Oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be fun. This is basically a raiding game. <laughs> See you later, little slave. Thank you, I guess. But this is basically in like high school DXT like a raiding game, you know? Okay, let's go. Oh, you're looking at him for what? Okay, but all her powers is like change arm and body to guns, right? Oh, we're Himari slave for today's episode. CG house. Did he make this ramen by himself? Y Yuki is a perfect house husband. For some reason, I thought he was gonna say something super degenerate as to what the secret ingredient is, like fucking Kyoka's fucking toenail sweat. No, we're not her slave, we're their slaves, we're everybody's slaves. But it's like... I don't know, man. Single combat? Can she though? Alright, she's super hyped up for it, it's good to see that she's hyped up. I like asses. It's not? She has different skills? Character M4, Commander, Kyoka Uzen. This is the fucking card game. This, this is just a fucking mobile game. LR Raid. What is this? You. That's your power? Learning? I can learn other people's abilities and use them for myself. Alright, we got copycat Sharingan. Copycat Kakashi over here. Okay, she can just copy anything. That's fucking insane. Does that mean she can actually turn gigantic like Shushu? I feel like that's a little bit ridiculous, right? Who did she run the gun skill from? So she uses her smartphone, pulls out a car, and she turns into that person's powers. Okay. Damn. 
You know what? It's not okay. Her name is Yachiho, but it's not just Yachiho with a deranged smile. Himari kind of has that too. In fact, this entire family all probably has twisted fucking smiles. And yeah, I think what you um, Yuki was saying about her, like you know, the powers, it's gonna take a lot of effort. It's like hmm, the reward afterwards. Hmm, I don't think Himari's thinking about that. <laughs> CGI time. All right, lick it. <laughs> So it just completely copies, right? World win. This is a different mode, right? 100% different mode. So whenever like different people, different forms kind of deal. Okay, okay, okay. World wins so probably speed, right? But this is like speed. Okay. Probably less power, but more speed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you just punch 10 times instead of once, you know, it probably makes up. What, what did she really do there, though? She was like, this is the key to beating my sister. But did you earn that? I feel like it was all him, you know? Is it... Should I not blame her for this? I, I don't know. I just thought it'd be like with her own power. But, you know, Yuki is her power right now. Reward time. <laughs> Gee, I wonder why. So what I didn't understand properly in the last episode is that the reward is based on Yuki's innate desires and the girls have absolutely no fucking control over it. They just have to do it. Yes, this is physically demanding. It's the reward section, bro. Because it's anime. Oh, I'm gawking all right. Well, see what for yourself. What did she do? Because the reward doesn't end! We can't just stalemate it. You have to let the, the pervertedness run its course. This fucking... This author actually thought about this mechanic. I can't believe it. He actually fucking thought about it. What's your reward, dude? Just take off the panties? Is it gonna give the panties? What? What? Uh, 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 uh. They're hiding it. Eight? No fucking way! Well, didn't they do a similar thing in like episode one with Kyoka, dude? Don't tell me you're hard. What the fuck? Sniff. The sniff was important there. You think that's fucked up, but you need to sniff or else she would have sat there forever, okay? We're doing this for her, okay? Try to be a little bit more serious in chat, okay? Compatibility. <laughs> Did he say something? So you can't obviously copy everything, right? That'd be too much. So this is the limitations of the power. You can't copy everything just like that. That's not bad. You increased it by three times. The price. Because sister complex. CGI house. Well, older sisters. I mean, obviously, this is like a fucking matriarchy, but damn. One, two, three, four, four, five. I don't know. I don't know which one they are, but goddamn, there's a lot more sisters to look forward to, man. So Himari was always like the, you know, the lowest tier sister. Hey, we're bonding right now, man. We're bonding. This is good because Himari's been pretty cold to us, but by relating to each other like this, <laughs> this is good. It almost sounds like the Yachiho kind of wanted her to return though, huh? So like, just like a random guess, somehow you're going to have to like, you know, mend ties with your sister, right? So how are we going to do that in the future? Maybe after this battle, Himari wins, Yachiho will acknowledge her power, and then she'll be like, you know what? I only did this because I cared about you or some shit. Or maybe she'll continue to have that twisted look and say, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> A hero. You know what? Of all the arcs, this Himari arc is the most promising so far. I actually like this a lot, the direction right now. Oh! Was this from a preview? I remember this, I remember this part last episode. I don't know why I clearly remember this though, but a final weapon. Okay. Hello, big sis. Maybe. Like, a show like this has to get a name technique that's so fucking dumb, right? Something so etchy? Golden Hour. 
so, so not only do you give me a design that reminds me of Tokisaki Kurumi, not only then do you give us, you know, the 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 look in her face, the Andre look, the, the the demented face, the, the the you know the expressions. Then you're gonna give her Zaf kill right now. She can control time, including freezing and going back in time. Obviously, she doesn't have every you know twelve bullets, but still, this is pretty impressive. Goddamn. Yachiho. Yachiho? Yachiho. Yeah. Does she really hate her? Or... I don't know. Does she care about her? Zawar! <laughs> Why did she do that? There was no need to do that in the shower. That was pretty cool though. Boom. Okay. I like her though. She's great. Both Himari and her sister. I like them a lot. Okay, you can't use it too much. You just gotta survive? But if she uses it, are we fucked immediately? Oh, she has to strike a weird- It's just, it's just a fucking JoJo's reference then. So she's just gonna make a bunch of JoJo poses. Fucking- <laughs> And then she's gonna stop time. But she gets super tired after she uses it, okay? Do you think it's an actual routine that enhances her skills? Or do you think she's just making this shit up and she just wants to do it? It'd be hilarious if this actually added no benefit and she just wanted to be cool. Beat her to the punch. You have your speed mode. But bull rusher before she can even go Tokyo Tomohe. What's our name technique gonna be? A deadly blow she can't dodge. Single part of your body. Into legs. Whoa. Okay. Now he should be way faster. It was kind of weak. Well, the power's still lacking, but speed is power at the end of the day. I don't know, man. From the previous fight? Oh, because you focused it all onto our legs. We're already weaker in the speed mode, but then if you focus on your legs, the, the strength in your upper body gets even weak. So just fucking just kick him then. Just fucking run and dive kick them. Just fucking jump kick them. Head pats? Is that, is that a head pat? Oh, that's a nice head pat. What is this technique gonna be, man? I just want like a dumb technique, a dumb name that's, you know, revolving around etchy elements like high school DXT, like booby lingual or fucking dress break. Essence? Rewards? What is it? What is it? I don't know. Okay. Oh, you can ride me all you want. Just this is to ride him. Get on top, that's right. Fucking yank that chain. That's right. The true essence of Kyoko's abilities is to be a dominatrix. Yoink on the chain, make sure the collar is pulled, and yell. Yell command. So cute. <laughs> this is so dumb. It actually works! He's doing it better now because she's telling him she's just like, Come on, you fucking slave war carter! Yes, ma'am! Oh, even his eyes, they're lit up! There you go! That actually penetrated! Is that our new technique? Some kind of pump strike and it just... Alright, bro, just gonna spam that attack and... Oh my god, he's drained. Because the reward scales based on... I don't know what it actually is. Is it threat or is it the amount of energy expended, right? If it's threat, then the reward shouldn't be very good because they're mob characters. But if it's the amount of energy exerted... My man's already looking like what he's gonna be looking like after the end, the, the reward, bro. He looks fucking drained. Oh, oh, here we go! The reward time. She just accepted her fate now, man. The brow's off too. Can you even see that? It's like... It's like blending in with the pink, right? I bet the, like, the, the Blu-ray DVD versions, right? It'll actually like make it more reddish. <laughs> For titties, he'll do anything. Whoa! That was long range there! That was not close. That was like pretty far and it still worked. Alright, a little bit of a training montage. Let's go. Cool. Dude, that's crazy, huh?
These two? They did not get along at all. Well, it's not really Yuki. She, Himari was just very, like, uh, kind of like, ew, boys. You know, she really hated that. Out of all of Shushu, Nene, Kyoka, Himari, she was the one that was least, you know, friendly. But look at this shit. We're bonding. We're training. This is a great arc. Even Kyoka's happy. Is it the day of the event or what? Exhibition match. Is that today? Yeah? Oh, thank. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, 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 oh. So I see they have different designs. We're not limited to just all the suits. What is this girl on the left side? Oh my goodness. Also, holy shit. Not only does Tokisaki Kurumi right here have the twin tails, the demented face, the power of time. She even has a fucking dress, dude. Her astral dress. Like, there is no shot that the author did not take a little bit of inspiration from Kurumi, right? 100%, right? Her hair looks like it's melting on the left side. Oh. We're, oh, immediate fan service. Alright, Sir Gregor, it's time for more censorship. I think it'll persist in the future somehow. Well, he'll, he'll, he'll be shared around the girls. Oh my goodness. Okay, Shushu. What if she actually loses? Because, like, what, does it make sense for us to do this, like, little training session? Sure, Yuki got a new finishing move, but she can control time. I feel like this is a bit too easy and too hopeful, right? So I would imagine during the match, like, she can just counter it somehow. And be like, oh, no, what are we going to do? But then we'll pull something out of her ass and maybe we'll be able to overcome that. There they are. There they are. There they are. There they are. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I would have 100% gotten fucking banned on Twitch for watching this today, dude. She's got the very soft voice actor, huh? And her hair looks like it's kind of like melting. Like, I don't know. Did she get transferred in? She's a homebody. The fuck is a homebody? And she's already sleeping. Sahara Wakasa. Fun name to say. Oh, sister. No, relaxing before the event is a good thing. Wait, wait, wait. I missed I missed it. I missed that interpretation of that. Look at this. Look at what she said. Taking a bath before the exhibition match? And then look at Himari says. I intend to be clean and tidy when I win today. As in, I just took a bath. I'm already clean and tidy. The battle we're about to have? Not gonna break a fucking sweat. We're gonna one-shot you done. That's a declaration, man. That's the thing. Can we actually, though? <laughs> She's so mean, though, to Himari. Is it, though? Yeah, on random fucking weak Shuki, though. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh my god, that was kind of... <laughs> She's still holding us for the fucking car. <laughs> I love this show. Gina Bizen? She just... That was her lipstick, she just put the... Okay, whatever. Any damage sustained during combat inside the barrier will be healed. Interesting. So basically, you can just go all out. Just fucking go crazy and everything will be fine at the end. Gina Bizen, 10 Squadron. Alright, new girl. What? Oh, it's a barrier. Okay, Gina Club. Members only fighting arena. <laughs> she even does a little tongue out. This is a dream come true for her? The barrier magic? The Peach's grant power is based on a person's nature and knowledge. I... This might have been already explained. Maybe I forgot about it. But interesting. Okay. The, the power... So Himari's ability to just like copy people. That's her nature and knowledge. Just always trying to like chase after her sisters. I don't know. But the sister... Ya, Yachio can just stop time. What kind of personality makes it such that you can just stop and freeze and unwind time? I just realized. Tenka's hair is too colored. The top is like, like a lighter, like gray, and then the bottom is blonde. Interesting. Oh, she's a super simp. She loved. Yeah, she's an actual fangirl. Come on, we're her slave. Oh, she made little posters. Oh, look at this. So she's a non-combatant. Is she also a homebody then? I don't know. Oh, 
gives up or gets knocked out. All right, don't be afraid to kill your own sister. But a cliffhanger is about to happen, right? Fuck. Let's do this. Technically, this is 2v1, but not really. All right, transformation. Please don't give me a cliffhanger. Denying a dog handler her dog? Jesus. And then, oh, we're not? Okay. And it's already over. No. But she should be able to go Zawardo and rewind the time. And then she'll know that it's about to happen. And then read that, right? Wait, wait, wait. What was that? Also, wait, hold up. We actually have a name technique for this. I, I, I saw it for a second, right? What is this actually called? This is called... Brand Break. Okay. Azuma time. Golden hour. Ah, oh, shit. This is so dirty, dude. But she kind of seems to have realized. They're like, huh? Deja vu? Hold up. Oh, and she's sorry. It's not deja vu. It's she's tired because obviously she exerts herself. So she's got to be careful with the poker face. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Wonder how many golden hours she can use in one fight. Maybe she has more stamina now? Prime time! That's a new skill and we're gonna fucking end army. Don't, 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 don't. Fuck you. Teach us, Nei Senpai. Okay. I'm really glad that Himari's powers are different because when I saw her just arms turning into guns and she's just shooting guns and that's her power, I was like, that's kind of lame. Yeah, there's a limitation because it'd be too OP. Holy shit, Nathan, where'd you get that? And that is the episode. This is honestly looking like a very hype arc. So far, like, I'm not saying the Shushu episode was bad. I'm not saying the introduction with Kyoka stuff was bad. But, like, the fact that there's, like, two-episode arc, we're leading into the different, you know, squadrons, more girls are showing up, a Kurumi-like character has appeared, Sister Duel, everything about this, this is right up my alley, man. Now, how are we going to actually beat her? Because she already recovered from this. And she's about to use what's called prime time now. Unless we have a different technique that we haven't shown yet during this training montage this episode, we're going to lose. But... Who knows, right? Because I just feel like the way that we've been kind of building up Himari and everything, it just wouldn't make sense if we lost. So we'll figure out some way that we win, probably through some degenerate way. We'll call it a day and then we'll get a reward. But hey, if you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.